Hey guys, it's Shauna McKenzie, founder of Best Kept Self, with your Monday morning pep talk. So here I was, sitting on the floor, working on my laptop, with Breakfast at Tiffany's playing in the background, which, by the way, is one of my top five Desert Island movies, little trivia for you there. And I get to the scene where Holly Golightly is talking about having the mean reds. And she describes the mean reds as being afraid without really knowing what it is that you're afraid of. And it dawned on me as I was sitting there working that nine times out of 10, when I've had the mean reds, it's been in business. And another pattern kind of emerged as I was thinking about all of this and this concept of the mean reds of business. And that was that when I had the mean reds, it was right before something big was about to happen. Always something good. Whether it's pushing through the ceiling I was currently hitting, getting to that next level, embarking on a new project or opportunity that was just about to turn the corner into success. But that's always when I faced it. Now, when we look at the concrete symptoms of what the mean reds in business look like, they look like this, and it's all self-sabotaging tendencies, which we hate those, right? And so it can look like uh, the form of forgetting or totally neglecting to ask for feedback. It can look like when you stop asking questions altogether about your business. It can look like excitement that suddenly just disappears. You'll be so excited and elated and really motivated into a project and then wake up the next day and it's just vanished out of thin air and you're left there totally freaked out and then maybe even bored with it. When you're not truly bored, it's just your brain giving some red flags because it knows change is about to happen. So we can shift blame a little bit here and we can shift it to our brain, who tends to know when we're about to hit change before we do. So when our brain senses that we're about to hit something big that's going to cause some change, it is going to essentially take fight or flight and throw up all those warning signs which come in the form of self-sabotage. And so our brain craves the familiar, craves the comfortable, so it tries to keep you in that comfort zone. So what you need to do is employ some sort of tactics to get yourself through that phase and rewire your brain to train it to become comfortable with whatever that next stage is going to be. Because if you don't, then those self-sabotage behaviors take over and you keep spinning your wheels in the same place and you miss out on opportunities and yada yada yada, all those yucky things that we're all too familiar with and sometimes it does happen. So my favorite and most efficient and effective technique to get over this feeling of the mean reds and push through it so that I can get to that next really amazing level is to employ the power of visualization, which I know is like beating a dead horse because we've heard about visualization over and over and over, but we do know that it works, so use it. So what I do is literally take out a pen and paper, and you know I like to brain dump, but it means so much to actually put something on paper and in writing and out of your head. And so I visualize what that next stage looks like. So there's always a catalyst to this being read symptom. It's either, you know, you're taking on a new project, a new client, you've met a new person, there's a new partnership, whatever it is that causes this whole reaction in the first place. You need to envision that story being completely carried out to the point of success or that next place where that change is going to occur. So visualize your life in it at that moment. Visualize what you're doing in terms of activities, the people that are there, what your office looks like, what your day looks like, what you look like in it, and write it all down and detail out exactly what it looks like because when you can envision and picture yourself very clearly there, you are essentially rewiring and training your brain that that's the place you're going to get to. So you're creating this vision of comfort because you're already mapping out what it looks like. So you're essentially giving your brain a security blanket to wrap itself in when it feels like it's getting to a point of change. It's not going to stop you anymore. More. It's actually going to pull you closer because you've already created this comfortable place of familiarity by mapping it out in advance, which is a really cool technique. So it definitely works. So bottom line, whenever you're facing the mean reds in business, that's just a really wonderful cue that something really awesome is about to happen for you. So make sure you don't miss it by being self-sabotaging. Make sure you use this power of visualization to help get you and your brain to that spot, which is really amazing. So the next thing you need to do is hit the button below to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get this video and more that we upload regularly. And then I want you to leave a comment on how you deal with the mean reds in your business. Share with me what technique you use to get over that feeling of feeling kind of nervous or anxious or fearful, but you don't exactly know what you're fearful about, which again is 
completely normal, we've all faced it in business, and just kind of goes with the territory of being self-employed. And as always, uh, you know where to reach me if you have any questions at all, and I will chat with you next week.